Do people not want to age anymore? Something I've noticed over the last couple months of my life is I'm noticing so many different articles and things coming out about people wanting to download their consciousness into brains and be able to live forever. And I'm sitting there thinking like, have you guys ever read Bridge Terabathia? Like I'm sitting there thinking like people have written stories about this. You do not want to live forever. Life shouldn't be forever. The forever isn't here in this world. And people tend to like try to cheat death. And it's just so confusing when I read these articles. But then another content creator had talked about that people don't even want to age gracefully. And it got me thinking. Why is it that people don't want to age gracefully? Why is it there's so many creams and different things that are basically telling you, do this to look 10 years younger, dye your hair this to look five years younger, do this, do this. But there's all these band-aids about looking younger, but they're forgetting that one of the most important things is just be healthy. When you're healthy, you're gonna look younger, you're gonna look more youthful, your skin will be more elastic, all these different things. But people don't want to do the hard things. They don't want to spend time getting the proper amount of sunlight. They don't want to eat right. They don't want to have the right micro and macronutrients. All these different things allow you to look more youthful and your skin will glow more. But again, aging is a part of life. It's a part of the beauty of life. When you go from baby to adolescent to adult and you gotta keep growing on this sphere of growth and it's a good thing. You're not gonna look young forever. There's no magic water that you splash in your face and boom, now you're 10 years younger. There's no fountain of youth in this world, but people are constantly looking for it now more than ever. And it made me wonder, as to why. Why don't people want to age gracefully? One of the first reasons as to why is, again, the societal pressures. Nowadays, pop culture, everything is promoting the youngness, the freshness, right? Something new, what's new, what's new? And a huge problem to this is the fact that the older you get, the more disposable you are to the pop culture. It's like, oh no, we want something new. We want something young, exciting, fresh. And people get bored easier. So when this happens, there's less value in the development of when you grow. But the weird thing is that some of the best actors never got their big breaks until they were 50, 60, 70. And it happens all the time. But nowadays, it's about looking younger, being more youthful. Oh, her beauty is only good until she's 25, 20, 30, then dispose next. But what? And I remember thinking, like, that's insane. Like, there's a whole art behind being whatever age you are and making whatever it is popular. But nowadays, it's just focus on youthfulness, youngness. And again, it's a societal pressure. And this comes down to also a cultural thing where when people become older and older, it's, oh, they're just the old head. They don't get it. But again, with age comes experience. And that experience is a lot more valuable than one might think. And a huge part of this is, again, the psychological factors and where our body image, the way we see ourselves. And it's okay if you have some smile lines, you have a couple wrinkles. That's okay. Those are stories. How many times you've smiled? How many times you've frowned? Whatever it is, there's stories about it. And it even comes down to like having a scar, right? That there's a story behind it. Not everything's gonna be perfect and flawless. Aging is a beauty, it's a blessing to have it. And even when it comes down to when people want to seem younger or appear younger, maturity is a good thing. It's a good thing to have maturity. It, you don't have to always act super young. And hey, this is coming for someone like me who's always acted super young and is so vibrant and bubbly. But when it comes down to it, that's okay. You can be bubbly and exciting, but understand you have to act your age still right? You have to be an adult when you're an adult. You have to have and be able to have responsibilities, not trying to live in this fast life all your life. You have to understand that the longer you do that, the more detrimental to your life and your lineage you're going to create. Another thing is too, is again, the social comparisons. There's always going to be someone younger. There's always going to be someone smarter. There's always going to be someone that's more beautiful. That's always going to be a thing. And nowadays with social media and the internet, we're going to constantly get these comparisons. So then you'll feel like, oh, I'm so past my prime. Oh no, but that's not how you have to see it. You are always at your prime. You are the smartest you've ever been. You are the most beautiful you've ever been in every moment you're currently in because that's the, the present. The moment you're in is the most valuable moment you have. And I think that with social media and technology, we tend not to remember that or notice that. And again, there's not a lot of people who constantly promote being older and being maintaining that, you know, that oldness look, right? Where nowadays many people who are old are like, oh, the old people up in Congress or the old people up in here that don't get the game. They don't get this. They don't get that. But again, there's a beauty behind that even then, right? Where people are going to have different experiences. They will have lived a different life. And me granted, be someone being part of like the Gen Z generation, obviously we know it's like, oh, boomers did this. Oh, millennials did this. But again, every generation, every group of people have something to deal with. But it's about understanding who you are and what you are within the time period you're in and taking advantage of it. And again, people always know about this and it's such a silly saying, but when you're younger, you want to be older. When you're older, you want to be younger. So the best thing to do is enjoy the time you are in now and make most advantage of it. And making sure you have healthy lifestyle so you don't go on this anti-age rampage of trying everything you can to look younger and more youthful. With age comes grace. With that knowledge and experience comes the age. That's okay.
Just understand, be as happy as you are with who you are as a person now and embrace the small changes in your life. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode here. I've been just talk about different things in society. I'll be doing this every week. And if there's something you want me to talk about or something I might have missed or something about aging that I might have missed as well, please feel free to leave in the comments. I love reading all the comments and seeing the discourse and the conversations we get to have here. So thank you guys again. Please sure to like, subscribe, share it, send it to all your friends. It's good for the YouTube algo. I'll see you next time. See you later.